Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck. I hope you had a good day today. Look, today I'm gonna speak about controller and mouse, what you should use on your world I turn on. Uh, you see, I'm a controller user on the most of the game, but I like to play with both because for the cartoon tunnel, I'm someone who worked hard in my life. And if I'm always on the mouse and keyboard, I get some cartoon tunnel problem and being always on a controller is not the best thing too so uh i'm out there with that controller that i use mostly for shooter uh you're gonna see there's some panel behind and maybe some people are gonna recommend that telling you that you're gonna be able to buy more key with that but this is not the truth maybe you're gonna be able to uh to put more key with uh like a third party software but usually, uh, like, maybe you're gonna get banned or something for using the third party so software. So maybe you're, you're not better to not use it. But with a controller like this, uh, those keys that are behind, they're just gonna help you to press those keys that are on the top. Like, you can just assign those keys to some keys that are on the top. You cannot, like, put it like a keyboard mouse button or something. But with a third party app that is not the xbox app maybe you can do it uh and with the, the ps4 controller there's the ds4 windows and maybe with the ds4 windows there's more parameter about this so uh instead like if you don't want to have to buy a controller like this to be able to press uh because if you want to be able to move and press those key you cannot do this and this at the same time so this is why you move like this and you press on the key under instead of pressing there. But if you don't have key under, then you're going to play like this. They call it the claw, all right? So the claw is a pose like this that you can press with your two key. You can even play like this. And then people like uh, Diaz before, maybe you hear of him, he do double claw. Uh, you're gonna have to go look his club video if you want to learn about the double club. But you're gonna probably be fine with the single club on the controller like this. So you're gonna be able to move and press all your key at the same time. So yeah, this is kind of the, the controller build. It's kind of simple. I can't wait to see the exact settings you're gonna put for the sensibility and everything. But uh, at this point, maybe I'm going to do some tests and make some video about it because I'm a lifetime uh, controller user. My first controller that I took in my hand was an Atari controller, bro. It, that, 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 it's some of the first, first console, all right? So with the mouse, you're going to see it's different than with the controller. I got some uh, button on the side, you see? I got five buttons on the side. One, two, three, four, and five. This one there, all right? So with those five key, it's some extra key. You can buy it like it, if it was some uh, keyboard mouse. So instead of having, like, you see, I have my, my finger on the movement button. If I press another key, I'm gonna have to take up my finger of the movement button. And this is why having the, those key there can be really good for your gameplay. But New World is not a game with a lot of keys, so you can do it without. All my gameplay, you're gonna see, I do it without. I mostly use mine only for healing because I'm already used to play without a mouse like this. When I started to play a New World, I had a mouse like this, but MSI. And you can see there's two key on the side, only two, so I was using one for eating myself and the other for drinking a potion, like the mana potion, because it's deeper on the on, on the keyboard, or like you can change it for the health potion and put the mana potion closer or whatever. Like, uh, yeah, so it was for like healing potion and um, stealth healing with the healing staff. But then I was looking for better mouse and the Logitech like this. It's only 70 bucks. Oh yeah, and I had to see the price of this. This one is the uh, Elite uh, Controller Elite 2 wired, the wired cost less. 
it's between 120 to 200 bucks i'm not sure anymore and my press or canadian yours are gonna be american probably so this one is a logitech this logitech mouse costs 75 bucks in canadian so it's probably like 45 us or something and it's amazing and some people say that it weight a lot i don't feel like it weight a lot but i work at art in my life you know and uh well they, they added some weight on it and you can dismantle that like the the bottom of the you you see there's some weight that they give you with it like they are stored somewhere and you put the weight under the mouse and it can be uh it can lift more or less depending on what you like and for me i like it like this with no weight for me it's weight uh, very it's perfect but i i kind of realize it when i lift this one this one is a really cheap one but there's two but on the side i don't know why it cost me six bucks but no with no keyboard uh this one uh auto city i would never game with that because when you the feel when you press the key is not good compared to that this one have a perfect feel it's like uh, the key are like instant click this one is like I don't know it's not gonna last long too it's for this one right now is plugged on my laptop i, I got like a tower pc and a laptop right there so yeah that's why i have all those uh, things right there so yeah right now i uh, i got the one two three four five for eating there i the, there's one for eating myself and i still have one for the potion i have one eating key like it's probably the the two the key number two on my keyboard and that's it uh, so yeah it's kind of simple for that uh, i know that some people don't have any key on the side of their mouse and they are doing uh, a lot of different key binding on their keyboard and it's fine i mean like uh, you do whatever you want and i'm not gonna tell you how to play like if you want to play like a casual you're gonna play like a casual and some people just want to enjoy the game you know that's it and some people want to be competitive and you know when i see a mouse 70 bucks for me that is like a competitive mindset i'm like oh why not and like i got when i'm doing video editing and stuff like this those key are useful and even when you are going on the internet you want to go from a page to another come back to the last page this key they bring you back to the last page after bring you to the other one so you can like uh, sing them too so whatever you're gonna do even if you're just working with it it's gonna help you i know some mouse have more key some mouse are maybe better or whatever but this one costs only 75 bucks so if you don't want to spend like 100 bucks and you don't know what to get logitech you you know what you do and uh, there's five key one straight there on the side the two key that are there there's like two other key there it's only for the light the lighting on it uh, and yeah the mouse click you can change it on but it's like all of your mouse uh, and the mouse feel good there's a diff different setting on the mouse when you roll it like this i, I put it so it's like click but you can it so it turn like you just stand it and it's keep rolling by itself it's amazing for that like uh, if you you see there's some bug in some game i remember in counter strike in the past uh, we were shooting like that tra, 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 by rolling so if you just let the, the the thing roll by itself it's gonna shoot a uh, super long time so that's amazing <laughs> So yeah, this is it for this video. My keyboard is kind of standard, uh, nothing impressive, just a MSI uh, keyboard and yeah, so like I might got my laptop on top of it, I don't want to start uh, moving everything. And I'm not even sure the wire reached there too because of the desk and stuff. But yeah, all the tell, nobody care. I wish everyone a good day. Tell someone you love them. Thanks for the support. Peace out.